Okay, let's uh, come back fresh. Let's see if we can beat this mission. It's the third from last mission on the distance on Nightmare. Take down the two tough walkers. We've not managed to do it. We've suffered some casualties. This is the team that I'm taking. Um, now, it kind of sucks that Mercer and Maggie don't have their charge points. But uh, I really want Mercer as the leader. We've got to be able to just deal consistent damage to these enemies. They're such a high level that our attacks aren't doing much. So we need to rely on Mercer's uh, uh, man at arms trait. Maggie is bringing an incendiary weapon because we've got to be able to set these guys alight. We've got to be ticking away that damage. Sasha is bringing the harpoon gun because... Uh, well, because we, you know, we've got to, got to be able to limit their movement a little bit. Um, let's do that. Am I holding out high hopes that we will succeed? Not high hopes, but uh, we got a chance. We do. Let's just get straight to it, shall we? We're, we're, we're just going to cause as much damage as we possibly can, as quickly as we can. Good. Got a uh, charge point from that. One, two, good, we can stay out of range. Ideally, we wanna get both these guys. We want that leadership trait to kick in. We wanna be setting these guys alight if we can. We're going to try and focus, We're going to try to focus on one at a time. Come on, we want those charge attacks to kick in. Definitely willing to use some grenades or, or, or what have you. I think, I think maybe that would be a wise move now. Good. Right. I need this walker below Maggie to be distracted, basically. We've got way too many. Yes, there we go. Yeah, now I'm not going to be cutting off my route of escape by doing this, am I? We gotta, we gotta get past, we gotta get past. Okay, so I am loath to have a turn without any shooting. Let's see if we can get a couple of enemies, let's see if we can get a body shot and a charge point, yes we can. Let's do this. Come on, I need to set your light, I need you taking damage every turn. Every turn. Good. Look at that, it's so tough that even a, a charge shot barely does anything. Okay, now we're not going to be... We are not pushing our luck here. What we are trying to do is get some charge points ready for the next mission. This is probably the loadout that I'm going to want to use. Okay, Sasha's got some charge points. Mercer, I don't think you're going to be able to get another kill here. I think we take the victory and we leave. We did it. We did it. Very, very happy with that. Fantastic result. Oh, hey. Oh, we got some brains. Yeah, I know their guts. They... They look like brains, right? Uh, take out all the raiders. Okay, so we got to see we got to see what is ahead of us here. We're going to do a little scouting action. Merle, pal, you're up. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, these, you know what I'm doing here. You know that these guys are not going to cause any damage. They are simply here to, uh, uh, to scout, so it doesn't really matter who we take. Why not at least give them as good a fighting chance as we possibly can? All right. So what do we got? Where's our free men at? There's one. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Trev is probably gonna ice all of these characters in one swoop with his uh, machine gun. Wow. Yeah, is there anyone else here? No. Okay, what happens? Do we have walkers coming in? Yes, we do. Okay, let's just let's just have some fun here. Let's just see how long can Merle survive. Just how effectively can we get those walkers to turn on those survivors? I mean, because we might be able to, to knock down some turns on this door. You know, if we manage to, to get a couple of turns on this door, then that will hold for the next playthrough. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try something. Sorry for the pause here. Just thinking about what I want to do. Yeah, you know, I don't think we need Eugene as the leader, but we're definitely going to have him in the pack, we're going to use this brand new weapon as well, the Riot Shield. I can't get my head around how it actually works. But, um, yeah, sounds sounds interesting. Yeah, let's level it up. Groovy. Yeah, level 32. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> are we going to bring an A-team here? I don't think we are. We are not bringing an A-team to this particular battle. What we're gonna do... Just... Oh yeah, okay, so I can't use that. Okay, let's do that. Who else do we want? Yeah, you know. Okay, so so this isn't this isn't some kind of perfect team, but I've got a plan. What I want what I want is really for the uh, walkers to do the heavy lifting here. If I can I want to get by those raiders and turn them into walker food. Okay, so we can't get to Clyde. Bit of a problem there. Okay, I was hoping that might get us a charge point for Alpha, but it did not. Does this give me an extra attack? No, it doesn't. Sure as hell means that Charlie's in trouble though. It's good. Clyde should focus on Eugene. He might be able to get Alpha as well. Okay. Alright. It's okay. Let's stop you from bleeding out. 
Let's see if we can get you to stun Clyde as well. Yes, you can. Excellent. Well done. Karma, man. Would you be so kind as to open that door? Actually, no. Let's set Charles alight. Skip to this side. Give Clyde a bit more good news. And of course, we're using these guys as a barrier. Let's make sure that we are farther away than the walkers. Um, yeah, and then that should mean that the walkers are going to go for these fellow humans. Okay, Alpha, you heal up. Okay. What the heck? Charlie, I cannot tell you how unamused I am with your refusal to go through with my plan. How very dare you. Okay, one down. Let's keep on, let's just keep on hitting this guy with everything that we've got. It'll take a couple of turns. Okay, so... Yeah, Eugene's, Eugene's taking some damage, obviously, because Charles there is uh, on fire. Can we get... Let's get Alpha doing what Alpha does best. She's going to be up here protecting Carl. The walkers cannot get to him. Because they would have to go through Alpha first. Well done. Alright. So we used a B team to get through the penultimate episode of The Distance on Nightmare. Yeah, thanks. I know the right shoot. Kill eight walkers, try not to get surrounded. Sounds like a pretty tall order. Um... That to me suggests that we don't need to worry about making any kind of noise. We are going... Gonna go with this. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, I'm tempted to go with this. Yeah, and then we've got to really be able to Okay, do we have any um, Yeah, we got some special enemies there damn it I would be very keen to have something I suppose that Shane and Sasha are going to be able to limit enemy mobility All right, what the heck Let's just, we're just going with our first instincts. I think this team could work. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Cause some damage there. Right, now I saw. There's an explodey guy there, definitely. Yes, got him. Yeah, we're just we're just causing a lot of damage. We're making loads of noise, but there's just you know, there's no point in trying to avoid that really. Good. Charge points. And we just we want to inflict just maximum damage as soon as we can on anything that's moving. Further to that, actually. We just got a couple of blast grenades.
Let's use a couple of blast grenades. Good. Getting them charge points, which means that we are getting rooting attacks. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Um, don't really like the idea of Shane being there, but we can always do this. See if we can get some charge points back. No, we can only get the one guy there. Right, I really want you out of the picture, please. Um, I'd love to be able to hit... Oh, actually, I can do that because you are rooted. Okay, we are out of charge attacks. And we are going to have reinforcements coming in soon and we're going to be forced to the back of the map. And I am not immensely happy about that. Unload on this guy. Okay, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be trapped soon. I want some better positioning, definitely. I'm loving having multiple rooting weapons. This is something that I think I've become a fan of. Right, you guys. I don't want you chomping on my heroes as they run by. Rick, can you get out of range? You might need to just dog that guy. And then, yeah, we're out of here. Are you... Okay, is that walker that is closest to me? Is he taking the bait? I can't quite tell. Uh, Sasha has already used the tool this time. Oh yeah, of course she did. Okay. We need to get some charge points up. So we do that. Rickety Rick should be able to get some charge points. Oh, is he in range? Yes, he is. Sugar. Not happy with that. Not happy with that result at all. If, uh, if I can root You know, if I can root the walker, that might well free him. I can't... Damn it, I can't get a clean shot. I can't get a decent shot. If I meant there, you would be in range. So I've really got to do that. And then I've got to do that. Oh, are you in range of that other armoured guy? No, you're not. Okay, can we free up Rickety Rick? Please. Good. Yeah, we could definitely, definitely do with a flare, but we don't have a flare. So let's see if we can stun some fools. Do that. And that's, that's partly just because obviously that's a charge attack, so you know, we've got to be inflicting max damage here. The only thing is that the, the armoured walkers, I mean, whether we're going for armoured walkers or, or normal walkers at this point, they're just, they're so tough. Everyone is just so tough. Good. Glad we're going to get a pulverising attack here. So, I need you to be slow in your roll. Good. Good. Lots of cripples. Good couple of stuns. 
I mean, if Shane's exploding bullets kicked in at some point, that would be magnifique. Can we get him to kick in here? Come on. God damn it. Okay. Damn it, come on, I need to... I mean, because we might, I might bug out of here and then come back in, because I mean, look at that. Right, what can I do? Okay. Okay, sorry Shane. Oh, I should have got rid of Rick, shouldn't I? Rick was already injured. Rats. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Well, Rick's got charge points, I guess. Um. Do we go with this? Do we go with this team? I think we do. I think this could be it, guys. This could be the first time completing the distance on Nightmare. It's, it's... Oh, intense. So intense. Okay, uh, yes, I would really like to shoot the crap out of you. Um... No Rickety Rick, that will put you in range. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, Man at Arms. Kicking in, doing what it does. Very happy with that. We need to limit your movement. Because we've got to get past you. Can we... No, we can't. Yeah, I mean, right, I don't think we need to rush to the end just yet. Still fine with having slowed him down. Might have to do a whole ring around the roses kind of thing here. Rick, you can shoot and you can move. And Mercy, you can shoot and you can move. Because you have tactical weapons. Okay. We are out of things that might limit this chucklehead's movement. So, ooh, do we hit him with... No, we don't. I want to, I want to, definitely want to limit his movement. I don't want to have a turn where we're not hitting him. Okay, well, Rick, Rick can fire off a shot. And we're just going to have to go with that. Right, we really need to kill this mofo. Um... Maybe what we could do. What we really need to do is just shove you back. Okay, good, stunned, happy with that. Let's give him another volley of shots. Got a whole mess of walkers coming up on us. 
maybe we could give them a bit of a treat here. There you go, that uh, uh, obviously stuns our friend the Armoured Walker. Oh my gosh. Oh my Gideon, is that it? Have we done it? Have we completed the distance on Nightmare? Yes, we have. <laughs> First time ever. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, I'd been I'd been thinking about that that you know third from last mission. I was like, oh man, is there a way around that? And we did it. Got a lot of people killed. <laughs> but um Wow. Wow, we did well. I tell you what, as a celebration. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Happy with that. Alright.